Well, I just finished my Suzuki Samurai engine. That was my very first ever engine rebuild, and I couldn't be more pleased with the fact that it was on a Suzuki Samurai. Uh, so I, I'm just, I'm glowing. I'm so excited about this. From pulling the engine out to getting it onto a stand, taking it all apart, and putting it back together, it was just an incredibly fun process. And I, I, I had so much fun the entire way through. The, um, there's still plenty of more for me to do um, to uh, really finish it up. Obviously, I got to put the uh, engine back in the Samurai, but I uh, got to install like spark plugs, wires. Um, I need to work on my carburetor. Um, need to work on my intake. need to work on my uh, exhaust manifold. I mean, there's still a good amount of stuff that I need to do. But the actual engine itself is completely rebuilt. And I'm telling you, it looks fantastic. I really, really like the colors that I went with when I painted it. The, I did a um, natural metallic or like an aluminum color for the block itself. And then I went with Chevrolet orange for the valve covers, oil cover, and the uh, pulleys. And it just looks fantastic. I could not be more satisfied with the color. Overall, I will say that it was a lot easier to rebuild this engine than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting quite a few hiccups here and there. And I think I only ran into one hiccup the entire way through. And that was with one of the uh, piston rods, or connecting the piston to the uh, connecting rod, getting the wrist pin in. That was there was just one wrist pin that I was having issues with, that I was able to get it taken care of. But I just, I'm blown away. I just, I, I feel so accomplished. The uh, just knowing that I've rebuilt an engine, even though it's just such a small engine, it's just, I'm just so excited about it. I, uh, I, I've. I, I just I don't even know what to say. I'm just I'm just so excited about it. <laughs> the uh, I really look forward to uh, being able to work with all the other components. Like I said, the exhaust. I uh, I need to do a little bit of welding on the exhaust manifold. I need to uh, clean up the carburetor, which I'm also very excited to work on the carburetor. Um, more or less, I'm excited to clean it because I just got a brand new um, ultrasonic parts cleaner. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. I just got a brand new ultrasonic parts cleaner and I am dying to use it. And I think that the very first thing that I'm going to get to use it on is the carburetor to the Samurai. And so that's, I'm looking forward to that. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so baffled. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just, I don't even know what to say. So, uh, I'll just cut it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys uh, enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it. Um, I hope that you guys got to learn uh, learn something um, at some point throughout the uh, the video here. I know that I had uh, like two or three uh, videos when it came to actually rebuilding the engine, but I hope that along the lines of those videos that you guys were able to pick up something. And uh, at the very least, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. I would really appreciate it if you guys uh, uh, liked these videos, if you uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, if you could, just share it with your friends. And <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs>